Welcome to Mar Chefin. My name is Chef Fred, and today we are making a po' boy. What you said? A po' boy? Yes. Not poor boy, as it was originally called, but a po' boy. P-O, as opposed to P-O-O-R. Boy sandwich. Um, we have our shrimp. We have our liquid batter, which is buttermilk. And we have our dry batter, which is cornmeal with flour and some oregano and some smoked paprika, some cayenne. Um, what else do we have in here? Some cayenne, some thyme, and that is some a little bit of parsley. That's what we have in here, and we have our lettuce because we're going to get that little kick, 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 kick spice. Because we also have some cayenne in here. And we seasoned our shrimp with seafood seasoning and a little smoked paprika as well and some ove. And just a little kick cayenne. And we have some tomatoes. So our refreshers are going to be the lettuce and the tomatoes. are going to be both our refreshers. So... Um, I hope you enjoy when we get ready to make our full boy. We're going to get into our vitamin content now. Shrimp has vitamins B12, D, and psyllium. Our all-purpose flour and cornmeal is mixed together. All-purpose flour is folic acid, iron, niacin, riboflavin, and thiamine. Cornmeal, B6, iron, magnesium, psyllium, and thiamine. Buttermilk, B12, C, calcium, riboflavin, phosphorus, and potassium. Himalayan salt, calcium, iron, magnesium, potassium, black pepper, A, B1, B2, B5, B6, C, E, and K. Cayenne pepper, B6, K, magnesium, potassium. Oregano, E, K, calcium, iron, manganese, and tryptophan, which is, which is an essential amino acid. Thyme, C, manganese, and potassium. Garlic powder, B6, C, calcium, iron, magnesium. Smoked paprika, A, calcium, folate, potassium, and phosphorus. Mayo, A, E, and K. Romaine lettuce, A, K, calcium, and folate. Tomatoes, C, folate, potassium. Our French roll, B6, niacin, folic acid, thiamine, iron, riboflavin, calcium, and magnesium. Vegetable oil, A, D, E, and K. Real facts. The number of college students who are experiencing food insecurity is skyrocketing. Along with college students, seniors who are food insecure are going up too. To learn more, you can visit us at jdhcdc.org. This is our shrimp for our shrimp po' boy. We already cleaned it with lemon juice to kind of get rid of the seafood smell. And um, I just think it's important to just put lemon juice or lime juice or fresh squeezed lemon, lime, sour orange on all meat and poultry and game and seafood to kind of get rid of that fishy seafood smell. Anyway, I'm going to season our shrimp poor boy with some Obey and I just love this magic seasoning blend, Seafood Magic by Paul Cordon and just some cracked black pepper. So here we go. So our shrimp is all seasoned up, our poor boy shrimp. And like I said, it was created by two brothers, Benny and Clovis uh, Martin. And they created it in 1929 because of the streetcar strike that took place. And so what they did was write the union and told the union that they would give out a free meal to the workers who were striking. And the free meal happened to be a po' boy sandwich. And um, because of that, what happens? What happened was when one of their employees, when the workers would come to get a sandwich, they would say, here comes a po' boy. Um, and later on, the name just got short shortened to po' boy as opposed to poor boy. Um, so that's where the name comes from, and that's who created it in New Orleans. And that was their thing to do to support the streetcar workers who were striking. 
in 1929, which was a really nice thing for them to do to get back. What I'm doing here is that I have coated my shrimp in the buttermilk, just plain buttermilk, no added flavor or seasoning. Then I'm going to take my flour and cornmeal with all the nice herbs. And I am gonna come in here and focus really super well, super well. So there's no excess left here. And I wouldn't really use the excess in here, I would throw it out, guys, just so you know. Look at the beauty of these golden fried shrimp for Apple Now that this is done, we're gonna take care of our sandwich. I've already assembled our other poor boy, so I just wanna do this one for you. So this is our chipotle mayo. We had warmed up in our pan with a little butter, our French bread. And so now we are smearing our mayo, not just any mayo, chipotle mayo for our po' boy. Not our poor boy, but our po' boy. Gotta put a little bit of that New Orleans twang in it. Oh, yummy. Okay, and so we have our lettuce here. Let's get our lettuce going. Okay, we're now gonna put our tomatoes. I say tomatoes, you say tomatoes, right? Right here. And let us get our shrimp, the best part. The, look at these colossal, gigantic, jumbo shrimps. Place it right here. I'm gonna make sure our poor boy gets a lot of this shrimp. No one, because one thing we don't like is for our food to be jealous of one another. So we give equal love here. There we go. Oh my gosh, look, look, look at this. Well, here is our oh boy sandwich. And bon appetit. We're gonna try this. That's the big sandwich. Big, big, big sandwich. Look at all of that shrimp. Look at that. Look, look, look. Look, look, look. All of it. Look, look. Every bite in your mouth is gonna be some nice big chunks of shrimp. So, here we go. <sighs> let, me, let me get my elbows in here. Mmm. <sighs> it wasn't a very big bite, but I tried. This is so well seasoned. Oh my gosh. I taste the smoked paprika. 
I taste the cornmeal that it was coated with. I taste the basil. I feel a little basil in there. Shh, don't tell me. The thyme, the oregano, the cayenne. But even though it has that kick to it, it's not overbearing, it's not overpowering. Even with the chipotle mayo, you have that nice balance with the lettuce that gives you the coolness. And the tomato, it gives you that little quench of thirst of juice. And the tomatoes, because it's juicy, kind of really tones down any of the heat that you would feel. Which is really good. It's not hard to make. It's super easy. The only thing is, you know, with things being a little expensive because of inflation. You know, the shrimp is not as cheap as it used to be. So, I'm going to tell you this. If you can't get the shrimp, take some chicken, some chicken breasts, cut it up into cubes, and use the same batter. You'll still get the crunchy effect, and you could have a chicken po' boy. Why not? This is all about recreating reinventing the wheel, so to speak. Do your own po' boy. No one says you have to do shrimp. This is your world and people need to fit in it. So, I hope that you try this because it is really good. And I am mm, loving every bite of this. So here's my call to action. Don't forget to click the like button by giving us a virtual hug. Oh my God, this is so good. So beautiful looking. When you click the like button, it lets us know that you're with us and you're enjoying the content that we're putting out for you. And what it encourages my team and I to continue doing the same. Now, with that, I want you to share. Share with your family and friends this channel. You don't want them being upset at you that you knew about it and didn't tell them, right? So, also subscribe. If you haven't subscribed before, come on, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. And hit that bell notification. So every time we upload a new video, you'll know. So you'll be down with my chef. And if this, if this is your first time watching us today, welcome here my chef. And we welcome you with love and open arms and hugs. Welcome. Thank you for hanging out with me today and eating virtually while I ate physically. But guess what? This is why I showed you how to do this because I want you to eat physically like this next time too. And drop in the comments if you did make this poor boy or did you try something else? Another meat possibly? If you didn't do shrimp, let me know how it turned out and we can engage because we do answer the comments. Thank you again for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. I look forward to you hanging out with me again. And we love you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.